Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which is going to be January 23rd tw through the 26th. Have some good sales. Last week was good. Let's just say last week was average, normal. This week, y'all, not so much, not so much, but historically, 20, almost 24 years on eBay. February is one of my worst months. People are still dealing with, you know, Christmas, debt. Um, people are, you know, waiting to file their taxes. It's a short month. All of this stuff contributes to normally February is like the worst month. And it's just funny. It's proven me right. Let's just say that. It's just been really, really slow. But keep doing what I'm doing. I'm ending in sales similar. I'm running sales. I'm sending out offers. I'm doing promoted listings. Um, and just keep plodding along. Just keep plodding along. It'll get better. But for those of you who haven't noticed or haven't read yet, um, our fees are going up. Not, not drastically bad. But for the things that I sell, toys, clothing, um, collectibles, and stuff like that, it's going to be about, I think, from 12% to 12.35. So, you know, if you haven't read the, the update, go ahead and go look at that. You can scroll all the way down in on your um, seller hub, and there's a, like a notices or notifications or something. It's one of the, I think it came out February 1st. But... Just keeping on, keeping on. I have been cross-listing like a crazy person. I just, I need to get more stuff on these other platforms. Um, and what I've, I'm, I'm making some changes because I kept thinking, why am I limiting my stuff on Poshmark to things that are $15 or much over? Because by the time on, if I list something on eBay, by the time I pay the final value fees, almost 75% of my items are selling through the promoted listing. So that's an additional, you know, 7 to 10%. Um, Poshmark's looking kind of good. You know, think about it. It's 20%. If it's under, it's $2.95. So if I list something on Poshmark for $10, that, you know, is on eBay also, I'm going to make $7.05. But you also have to take into consideration, once they accept that package, there's no more returns. Y'all, the returns are killing me. I have not ever had this many. Um, it's just like, I'm down to my final one. I'm going to pick it up at the post office today. And then it's just like, okay, please. No more for a while, but I'm pretty sure I've had, well, let me tell you, we just got our invoices for January. I had like $350 in returns in January. It's, it's annoying. So Poshmark and Mercari, at least we don't have to deal with that as much over there. So I'm determined to get my stuff over to these other platforms. And hopefully as I get stuff over there and I figure out Mercari shipping, you know, paid versus free, um, that's that's my next thoughts on Mercari is what am I going to do? So let's get to it. Did not have any sales on Etsy, but then I've had two cents. So it's all good. But I have Mercari, Poshmark, and then of course eBay. If you're new to my channel, Everything starts on eBay, and then I use List Perfectly to cross list to the other three platforms that I use Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark. Um, I don't do free shipping on eBay, but Mercari is to be determined at this point. Um, so when I say something sold for a set amount, it did not include buyer paid shipping. So. Two to share with you on Mercari. I had been focusing listing like a lot of my low dollar stuff on there. I'm going to start putting like things that are $10, maybe $12 on Poshmark also. 
come. But this was a Mattel Barbie puppy dog plush. It's been listed forever on eBay. It sold on Mercari for six bucks. All right, and then this monkey chimp rattle plush um, sold for eight dollars on Mercari. Couple of well, three sales on. I had an amazing sale. But I think it's going to be on the next video. Poshmark. Let's let's talk current Poshmark sales for this four day period. These were some Bass Weegeons men's shoes. I'm not sure how much Robert paid for them. I don't normally look at men's shoes. That's his thing. Um, but they sold on Poshmark for $15. And then this was a Primrose School Orange Cat Puppet. I've been selling quite a bit of puppets. This sold for $15. And then Little People. This was a vintage lot that I put together. Just the farmer, um, the wife, and the dog. $20 on Poshmark. Now eBay. Hallmark Snoopy. I don't, I have one basket that's Snoopy and it never gets full. Never, ever. In fact, I start throwing other things in there. If I'm like Garfield, I have too many Garfields or whatever, I'll throw some of them. It's the basket next to it. I'm really actually organized. My character toys are put in by, you know, who they, you know, all the Snoopies are together. All the Garfields are together. All the Mickeys are together. Just that's how I do things. Um, but so this Snoopy sold for eight dollars. Some more of the um, HO scale tracks. We bought three boxes at an estate sale. We paid like twenty dollars for one, and I think fifteen for the other two. I have been selling tons of it. These were lifelike switch control tracks. This one sold for $18.35. Toy Story Woody Hats. Anytime I see a Woody Hat or Jesse from Toy Story, I pick those hats up. Kids lose them, then the parents start um, looking for them. And where are they going to go? They're going to go to eBay. Um, my, my thing to encourage you to do is measure the length of the hat, but also measure the hole. Just make sure that this hat is fitting the woody that they have. This little teeny tiny hat sold for $9.15. Still selling Lego minifigures. I had tons, I think 130 some of them that we picked up at a Savers in um, Cincinnati. Um, this is Hawkeye, he sold for $10. A, a Brown Rabbit Hair Plush sold for $15.59. You're the rabbit list rabbits. This is a salt and pepper shaker. I'm pretty sure I picked it up at my little favorite estate sale we go to almost weekly. Um, probably paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. Sold for um, $13.75. It was a just married bride and groom. The, the bride and groom was one of them, and then the vehicle was actually the other salt or pepper. Lee jeans. Oh, we pick up tons of Lee, Aeropostale, Old Navy, American Eagle, and they sell for us. Pay a dollar, maybe dollar fifty for them. This pair sold for fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. This was a viewer sale, so thank you very much, Janet. Um, she had received this bowl set as a wedding gift and broke this particular one. So they were sitting over here in my pile of stuff that I've shared with you, but I hadn't listed yet. I listed them and she bought this one almost immediately. This bowl sold for $27.55. This is a Swiggles White Dalmatian Dog Lovey. I think that's like Dollar Tree, Dollar General. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I still pick them up and they sell very well for me. This one sold for $13.75. Pharmaceutical advertising stuff. This was for my hybrid estate sale. 
um, I'm still going through it. I'm down to the just boxes that were just mixed stuff. But I found this mirror, like a magnetic mirror and a clip that were both this Diavin Cardism stuff. I decided just to go ahead and put them together. They sold for $18.35. Dakin Alps, the St. Bernard dog. He's 12 inches. He sold very quickly for $13.75. Rabbit, again, this one's from Golden Bear Company. 18 inches sold for $13.75. Most of my plush, um, I pay a dollar or less for. I pick them up at estate sales, yard sales, and a lot from the Goodwill bins where I pay by the pound. This is a Newport Aquarium River Otter plush. I do really well with like Ripley's and all of them. I think a parent decides they're going to go there, but it's expensive to buy the stuff there. So buy it on eBay and then your child has a memory. Um, this one sold for $9.15. Little people, I have been doing a whole lot of small lots, two, like two of them together for $9.95 um, with a few exceptions. I picked up over 100 in the last couple of times that I've been to Goodwill Bins and I've been sorting through them. Um, these two actually went to a particular place. It, it was the um, Zoo Sounds um, set. So somebody who maybe finds that zoo at a yard sale or something, you know, they would be looking for the animals to replace. These sold for $9.15. And the bird was not in very good condition, as you can see on his beak and on his um, feet. Valentine's Day. This is a Dandy Imports little vintage plush. Sold for $9. Best offer. Y'all, I saw this on Facebook after the fact. Um, this too is from my high bid estate sale where I bought bunches and bunches of advertising plush. Um, this has been listed probably a year. Um, but did you guys know that A&W has came out saying that they're no longer going to have the bear with no pants. And of course this sold right away after this announcement because any new plush that they are going to distribute, it's going to have pants on. So this one was from 1997. It's sold for best offer of $15. I did have one more of them, which I did bump the price up for. First impressions, just a cute little lion plush with the rainbow mane. It sold for $9.95. The fact, the fact that it sold for the listed price that means I had just ended it and did sell similar, and it sold before my sale started. Kellogg's, out of a cereal, Dr. Seuss Thing One mini plush, four and a half inches. It still was in its original packaging. Um, but I pick up all of these Kellogg's mini plush. Some of them I put in small lots like for Toy Story or Sesame Street. Um, but sometimes if you can get them in their own package, they do very well. $8.23. Fisher Price Husky Helpers. I can't remember where I picked this one up from. Don't remember. It sold for $22.95. They are from 1979. Nat and Jules, love that brand. It's also a lot of times Dim Daco. It's 2015, just a cute bear, but it has like a basketball textured belly. $13.75. This is good stuff, and I think those are like claw machine type toys, or like maybe you could get them at some of these like Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. Um, but it was just a clown, and I put the word mime. It just kind of reminded me of that. 11 inch sold for $13.06. Levi's 505. Even if they appear new, I don't list them that way. Um, this one did have its tags. I usually will put unused, but I still list it as pre-owned. Um, 
These sold for $24.55. Lego minifigures. This is Yoda. He sold for $9.57. This is a viewer sale, so thank you very much, Sherry. Sherry bought a couple of things from me. Um, this was a Toys R Us 22-inch chimpanzee monkey. I think she saw this on a recent haul. Paid $19.95 for it, so thank you. Robert was at a yard sale without me and bought a couple of little Tokidoki figures. These are from Blind Bags. Um, paid a dollar each. I'm almost positive. This is the last one. This one sold for $9.15. So definitely something to keep on, especially if you're keep an eye out for, especially if you're digging like at bins or in, you know, little mini toy things at yard sales. Bun Bun, you know what? I have found them a couple of times. Um, they're by the Bridge Direct from 2014, this one was. I guess they stack. And I've, I sell every one of them that I find. They're bread and butter, but it's still sold for $9.15. I picked this up at my little favorite estate sale. I probably paid 3 to $5 for it. I don't remember, but that's just kind of sticking in my brain. Um, it said Del Mar, California on the bottom of it. It sold for $45.03. A lot of knit baby plush I pick up. Um, just something about them I tend to do really well. This brand was Elegant Baby. Not quite sure where it sold at. This is a 10 inch elephant. It sold pretty quickly, $18.35. Kelly Toy, this is a 24 inch gray bear. It had like little silver accents in it, $11.91. Best Made Toys. I like that brand. It's just, to me, it seems like decent quality. You know, I, I, I have my favorite. I love the vintage Edens, Fisher Price. That's top rate quality, I think. And then there's a whole bunch of here in the middle. And I would put Best Made Toys. Some of the Kelly Toy, but not all of the Kelly Toy. Some of the Dandy, but not all of the Dandy. Just seems to have good quality. And then you've got things like um, Toy Factory and some of these other brands that lesser quality, but because of what they are, character plush and stuff like that, they still seem to do well. Um, this cow was large, 25 inches, sold for best offer of $24. Mugs, I sell a lot of mugs, but I buy a lot of mugs. A lot of the estate sales that I go to, um, there's always tons of mugs and they'll put like a quarter or 50 cents on them. And I, a lot of it is vintage. So I just grab what intrigues me. Um, I ain't even gonna try to pronounce this one. It is a gray ram mug that was made in Spain. I think this one is in Spain and another country. And one is more highly sought after than the other but for the life of me, I can't remember which one. If you see this brand, definitely check the comps, but more than likely, I would just pick it up, especially if it's a quarter or 50 cents. It sold for $22.03. Hug Fun Gray Chick Chicken. I have found this in probably three different colors, and it always sells really well for me. It's only five and a half inches tall, I actually have two of these. This is the first one to sell. It sold for $17.43. Best Made Toys. Again, cute giraffe. I've mentioned this before. If, if you've got the space in your title, if the plush has embroidered eyes, I usually will put that in there. You know, some parents only want to buy toys that don't have, you know, a plastic nose, plastic eyes, and sometimes they buy them for pets and they definitely don't want to have that because they are choking hazards, especially with pets, you know what I mean? Well, this giraffe sold for $10, best offer. Carhartt jeans, they don't sell as well as I would had hoped. We still pick them up, 
but it's not one that I'm going to probably spend five dollars for to pick up where there's certain ones that we would um, but they sell very quickly for us this one I um, took a best offer of fifteen dollars for Ralph Lauren men's long sleeve shirt Robert has stopped lift, listing shirts. I think he's waiting for me to come over here and help because there are shirts and jackets, dresses, bib overalls. Those just tend to be harder to take pictures of. So one day I think we'll just pull all the shirts that he's been skipping and throwing under this table over here and I'll just help him get them done because they do sell for us, just not very quickly because I don't have as many listed. Um, this shirt sold, though, for $14.58. It was a larger, extra large size, so they tend to do better. Keen Timberline women's clogs. They were wool. They were interesting. I want to say I paid 2 or $3 at a yard sale for them. Ended up taking a best offer of $20. Disney Copper Dog Plush. Now, there is a smaller version of him. He does okay, but he's more in the bread and butter range. Um, I want to say he, it was like a video release. There's a, a Copper, a Bambi. They all look, Pinocchio. They all look very similar. I don't do very well with them. They're long, long tail. Um, but this one I knew was special. Um, just different um, size very cute, seven inches, um, was in really good condition. And this little tag right here is usually like cardboard. And a lot of times it's missing. So if you find one that has the, the cardboard ID tag, then it's golden. It sold for $22.95. Christmas, end of January. This is a Douglas Fir, the talking tree by Jimmy. It worked. I have a video showing that it worked. Um, I kept getting low ball offers and I just kept waiting, 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 waiting. And it finally sold $62.95 plus shipping. Now this is one of those items. I pre-packed them so that I know the exact weight and dimensions um, so that you're not getting hit with extra charges because you didn't you know, have the right dimensions in there and it didn't charge the correct amount. And then my best sell. Best sell. We picked this up last, early last year. We went to the St. Louis Benz. Valentine's. Valentine's. See, if I had done my Valentine's video after this, it would have made it in there, but it didn't. This is Hug and Love. It is a seven foot long caterpillar but it was pink, red, and white. I've seen others that are like the primary colors. Some of them are pastel colors. Some of them are even larger than this and they go for a whole lot more. Um, but I was thrilled. This one sold for $75. All right, busy, busy. It's time. It's time for me to um, get some stuff processed. I have set schedule. If you, I'm the type of person I every day pretty much follow a routine, except on the days that I have to make videos and then it messes stuff up a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to do one of those a day in the life soon. I am starting from like when I get up, what's the first thing I do? I start working immediately it's as soon as I get up, well, when I get a cup of coffee ready. And then my day is pretty much planned out until I call it quits for the day. So, you know, I got to go get some listings done. Process uh, Processing for me is taking pictures, filling out my spreadsheet, and then going and storing everything that I've worked on that day. So, let's get to work, y'all. Bye.